So we're back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this content web scraper that can actually go onto YouTube, go onto TikTok, any social media you can think of and actually scrape the best performing content in your niche and actually give you ideas into Google Sheets with one click of a button. And the best part is you can actually do this for free to start with. So without further ado, let me just show you how this works. Essentially, we are going to use Appify to run an actor, meaning that it's going to scrape the web. It's then going to essentially use ChatGPT um, to basically do research on that information. So these are a hundred different titles on YouTube or TikTok that it's been able to scrape. And now it's going to actually give you um, only the videos that have gone over 10,000 views. Um, and then it's going to put it into Google Sheets for us really easily with one click of a button. It's super simple. You don't need to code. You don't need to know anything about automations. You just need to watch this 10 minute video and you're going to have a yeah researcher to be able to do research on content for you. So drop a like and let's just run this to show you how it works. So it is essentially right now just scraping YouTube for the term that we want, which is going to be AI and automation content. So it's going to find um, competitors, which is what it's doing right now. You can see that it has already done, so I don't need to pause it. And just like that, we now have, as you can see, it's currently loading this Google Sheet right here with content ideas. So you can see that it's given us the best performing content in my niche and you can filter this for whatever you want and you can get hundreds of content ideas with one click of a button, right? Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can build this automation from scratch, step by step, so you just need to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to a tool called Appify. Now, if you aren't familiar with Appify, it is pretty much free, so you don't need to pay for anything and you can basically find web scrapers on there. So if we log into Appify, let's just go to the console. You can see that once you're in, you're going to get a bunch of different scrapers for Google Maps, for Facebook posts, data, TikTok. Um, you, you get the point, right? But if we search for YouTube and we go to this one, which is the first one, we essentially have a YouTube crawler and video scraper. Um, so, yeah, you don't need an API. You don't need anything like that. It's super simple. How it works is you basically put in the term that you want to scrape content in, right? So if you want to create content in the AI automation space, then you would put AI automation. If you are a realtor and you want to make uh, content on real estate, you would put real estate here, right? So you could do something like, yeah, I don't know, roofing um, or even let's just do fitness. Um, and you basically just want to select how many videos you want it to scrape. So you could basically scrape like a thousand and you'd get a thousand content ideas with one with one click of a button. Um, but for this case, we're going to do 10 just to make it quick, because obviously I don't want to have to wait for it to load and a thousand is quite a lot. So let's just start with 10 um, and then you can obviously add more filters. But that is it. Like it may look confusing, but all you need to do is just put in the term that you want to search for and the amount of videos you want to scrape. It is that simple. And then once you click start and save or save and start, it's going to then run an actor, which is basically just scraping a web. That's a fancy name for it. So yeah, once this loads, you'll see what it's done. And the reason we're using make.com is because we want to be able to not have to go into Appify. So all we have to do is put in the term right here and it's going to do the search for us on YouTube. So that is how simple we're going to make this. So you can see here that it's already gotten uh, fitness content. You can see uh, get fast kids workout um, power of fitness by Vincent Lam. You can see that it's given us 10 fun daily exercises. You, you get the point, right? It's given you the 10 searches of content with the URL, how many views and so forth, right? But now we basically want to make this much simpler. Like what I said, we don't want to have to go into Appify to be able to run this automation. So what you're going to do is head over to make.com now. If you don't have a make account, it's completely free. And the best part and the reason I love it so goddamn much is because you can stay on the free plan for as long as you want. Um, so if we log in, what you'll be able to do is create a scenario at the top right. So just click on create a scenario. Let's dive right into building the automation very quickly beforehand. If you do want this automation completely built for you, so all you need to do is just click import and it's going to load entirely just with one click, then feel free to join my community. There's over 400 members absolutely loving it. And it's an amazing place to network, um, level up your business and just make more money, right? So that will be the first thing in the description and you get about 10 plus done for you make automations and you get free guard level. But nonetheless, I'm going to be building this from complete scratch. So let me show you how to build this from scratch right now, right? Is we're essentially going to click on this big button right here and we're going to search for Appify, right? Um, that is the absolute first thing we're going to be doing and we're going to click on run an actor. 
um, or yeah, this one. So once you click on it, you basically just need to make sure you connect your Appify API, which is really easy to do. All you need to do is go into Appify once you have an account and just go down to um, where it says settings and then go to integrations and basically just copy your API key inside here and then you're good to go, right? So that's the first thing. And then for the actor, just make sure you select the one that um, is the right one. So you, if you remember correctly, streamers slash YouTube scraper is the one that we want. Because if we go back to um, store or actors, you can see that it is this one, which is streamers YouTube uh, scraper. So that is going to be the one that we're selecting. So let's just select it. You can have this um, as yes. This just basically means that it's going to run before anything else. And then for the input JSON, this is this is how simple it is. You don't need to code. You just need to click on JSON right here and you actually get the code like instantly. So if we click on this and just copy it, all you have to do right is just paste it in here and that is it. So that is really cool. And then just click OK. And then all we're going to do now is also search for Appify and we're going to get data set, right? So we're just going to get the data set from what it has searched. So this already should appear. Um, and this will be the default data set ID, which is right here. Um, for data transformation, you can keep that as clean. Format is JSON, limit 100, and that's good to go, right? Um, so just quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to add a variable right here. So this will all make sense in a second. But if you essentially just search for set variable and you connect and you call this search term and you basically um, just put in what you want to search here. So let's say we wanted to search on YouTube for fitness content and get ideas for our channel that's a fitness channel. Um, all you have to do is now just go onto here and you see where it says search keywords and then it's fitness. You can basically replace this with the search term. So what this will now do is instead of us having to essentially go into there or go into Appify and changing the, the, uh, the search thing and then, you know, redoing the JSON. All we have to do now is basically just put in whatever term we want to search for. So it could be, you know, real estate. Um, it could be like football, whatever you want. And it will basically scrape it. So that's just a cool thing. Um, let's just keep it as fitness for the time being. Um, and now you are pretty much almost done. All we're going to do now is actually go over here and select chat GPT. So click on open AI and we're going to create a completion. So just make sure you connect your API key for OpenAI, which is pretty easy to do. You can actually click on this right here and it's going to load up uh, make.com, I believe. And it's like a support thing on how to add your API key, but it's pretty simple. You just go to the assistance part of OpenAI and then just connect your API key. And then once you've done that, you want to keep this as it is. For, for the model, I just recommend going for GPT-40 system, keeping it simple. Um, and then if we go back to the original one, you can see here that um, we basically put user and then we put our prompt. So for this, let's just do it. So you would add message, we would do user, and then you basically put your prompts. So let's actually unlink this because we don't want to have that on. And if we quickly uh, run this, so you can see already it's basically, yeah, searched for fitness and we're basically just getting it so it's going to give you data and then this will all make sense on how to do it in a second. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it has just done it. So if we look at the actual data set, you can see here that it's given us the titles. You can see all of the titles, which is amazing. Um, so now we can link it back up to OpenAI and you'll basically be able to get, um, so I think sadly it's uh, removed the, the prompt, but my point is that you can now actually get the title the so if we put here um if we just put the prompt that we have here so you can read this in your own time but now what we can do is we can basically put in things like the title so you could say title equals that we could say view count equals um that so we're basically just mapping the results to what we want so you could say like count equals that and so forth, right? You just want the metrics that actually matter. Um, and this is what's going to go into the Google Sheets um, here essentially, right? So 
yeah put whatever you want um you can see you can have description you could have the comments um and so forth but we're just going to leave it as this for now because if we have the title the view count the like count maybe let's just put the uh youtube url just so we have that for context um so you can always get more um inspiration so let's just find the url you can see it's right here um and then let's let's just click okay so max tokens let's just do like I don't know, 400 that doesn't really matter too much and what we're going to do now is the final thing of Google Sheets. So we are essentially going to um, add a row. So you're just going to click on add a row and you're just going to connect the correct Google Drive to make. So once you've done that, um, you basically just want to select the, the spreadsheet that you want to put the results into. Just make sure you use the right um, one. And as you can see, it should, if you connect it, will pop up with a bunch of... Um, yeah different google sheets in your um in your google drive so just select one you can always change the name of it you see here that we're going to use viral content ideas which is the same google sheets as this um so what you can do now is you can basically yeah just map it so you can put the title you can put the uh total views here you can put the total likes you can do the comments really easily um so comments duration you see you, you just want to map it essentially right um so it's a series popped up for some reason but if you um if you map it then it's just going to place it into the google sheet for you and then obviously we want the chat gpt title which is the result so essentially that is and you see here that we've said like give me one new title um based on each like column or row essentially so now it's going to give us a new one here right we're going to basically click on this and we're going to set up a filter and we're just going to call this filter and then we are going to put um, the view count here. And then we're basically going to put here the numeric. So let's do numeric operations greater than. So we'll do greater than. And then we'll just do 10,000 views, right? So this is only going to give us titles of content that have gotten over 10,000 views because obviously we don't want content it is that have flopped, right? So that is how you basically set up a filter. So now only um, in the Google Sheets are going to be actually good content ideas so they're already proven um so that's just a little bonus that you can do um but my point is that you can switch this act of like anything on appify and you can use it for tiktok yeah and so forth right so um that is the video summarized hopefully you enjoyed if you did just drop a like subscribe and i'll put some videos up here that you can watch and obviously like always if you need these automations and you want free goal level and you want other software for i don't know sending outbound instagram dms feel free to hop into my community it is wonderful and we're almost at 500 members and the price is increasing once we hit 500 members so there's no better time than now but yeah without further ado take it easy and have a great rest of your day